Hello everyone, my name is Vivek. I am a software developer. I make videos about containers, Kubernetes, Go as a programming language and sometimes about software engineering in general. If you have been watching the, the videos that I've been making and you, you like them, you should consider subscribing to the channel. And in, in this particular video, we are going to look into how we can run an application or how we can run a pod where the application container image is pushed into a private container registry instead of a public container registry. So in most of the videos we have looked into or we have deployed an application where the application's container image was pushed into a public container registry. But in this particular video, we are going to look into how we can specify a pod to pull the images from or pull the container images from a private container registry. There are chances that in some, in some cases uh, you have created the container image and pushed that into your, your private container registry. So that is what we are going to uh, look into in this particular video. So let's assume we have, we have a three node Kubernetes cluster up and running and what we have done is we have created a private container registry let's name let's name it private container and registry and let's assume we have we have pushed our applications container image library into this private container registry now if i try to run a pod on this Kubernetes cluster. If a pod is scheduled on, let's assume this particular node, the, the component that is responsible to pull the container image for the applications will not be able to pull the image. And the reason is the, the container image is pushed into a private container registry instead of public container registry. So this is this is the problem that we are going to look into in this particular video. So first of all, let's just go ahead and try to create a private container registry. In our case, we are, we are going to use Docker Hub, but in, in your case or in, in real life, there are chances that you have set up your own container registry somewhere else and, and made that private. So let's just go ahead and try to create the, the private container registry named library and private we already have an application uh, that that we built in some of the previous videos named library and that is the application that we are going to push into this particular private container registry we are, we are going to make this private and just just uh, click on create once this private registry or private repository has been created, we are going to push a, push an, an image into this private container registry. To do that, let's tag one of our publicly available library images so that we can push that into this private container registry. So This is the command that we are going to use. This is the image that is, this is the container image that is publicly available. And we are tagging that to, to specify repo to be library hyphen private. And this repo is, is, is private as, as we have already built into. So Docker push. And as soon as this image has been pushed into this private container registry, we will be able to see that uh, in this particular page. And meanwhile, I let me show you. I have, I already have a pod manifest here that specifies the container image that we have just pushed. So, if we look into this private repository, we would be able to see uh, this image has been uh, pushed now. And this is the container image that we are going to that we are trying to run using this particular pod definition. So let's just go ahead and try to create this pod. And we want to, let's say, run it into namespace name ps-demo or, or pull secrets-demo. Uh, 
So we will first have to create the namespace and once namespace is created, we can we can go ahead and try to deploy the pod. So let, let me quickly explain uh, once again what we are trying to do. So we are going to we are trying to create a pod specifying a container image that is pulled that is pushed into or that is available into a private repository instead of public repository. So kubectl create hyphen f pod.yaml and if we try to get all the pods from ps hyphen demo namespace we should be able to see error image pull pull issue and the reason is so if i get all the pods from ps hyphen demo namespace we can see that this pod is scheduled on this specific node and we are getting this particular issue because any component that is that is installed on this node and is responsible to pull the container images is not able to pull the image because because the image is present in private repository and that is the reason the component i i think container engine that is deployed on this particular node is not able to is not able to pull pull the container image so yeah now that we have set up the problem statement let's just go ahead and try to see how we can resolve that so here we can we have specified we have specified the private repository so to to actually make this particular pod work what we can do is we can specify a secret and in that secret we can specify all the authentication details for your for your private container private container repository so in my case i'm going to create a secret and in that secret we are going to specify somehow specify the the authentication details for my private container registry that is that is docker registry but in your case it's, it's totally possible that you have set up your private container registry uh, in in some other ways so in that case the secret that we are going to create now should have the respective uh, details so there are some ways to create this secret one is to so if we just go ahead and try to look into the kubectl create secret command these are these are some of the sub commands that are available for kubectl secret so as the name suggests if we want to specify the de details about a docker registry we will have to specify or we will have to use this particular sub command so let's use docker registry and then we are going to use the or then we are going to specify the name of the secret so let's name it pull secret and we want to create this We want to create and while specifying docker registry we will have to specify some flags specifying or or mentioning the the details about your docker registry so those fields are docker username my username is this and docker password my password is set into this particular environment variable and then we will also have to specify docker email you can also specify docker server but if we don't specify it the default one is used the the docker hub and that's why i'm not going to specify that but in your case if, if you have specified or if you have set up your private container registry some using using some other ways in that case it's necessary that you specify docker server as well so we are just going to specify the email i'm not going to create it as of now but let me let me quickly show you what are all the other things that are available for this particular command so we can see we can specify username password and server and the default this is the default server that is used so if we want to use this we don't have to specify that in the command line otherwise we will have to specify it uh, in in the cases when you have set up your private container registry using using uh, some some other ways so i am let's just go ahead and try to look at this particular secret secret manifest and we can see here 
this is how this is how the secret has been created and the key for the data is docker config json and this value is going to have all the details that we have specified in in the command line so if we decode this uh, we should be able to or we would or we would be able to see all the details that we have specified so if you want to check that out what we can do is echo and then base 64 decode we can see that we have all the details that we have specified i shouldn't have shown this but anyway so now if i just go ahead and create the secret obviously we have we will have to create the secret in the same namespace where our, our pod is running so let's specify the secret to be names to be run in in the name to be created in the namespace ps hyphen demo and if i create the secret and if we now go ahead and try to change this pod to have the to specify the secret that should be used while pulling while pulling the the images so we can do that using by specifying this field that is image pull secrets and again this is a slice so we can specify n number of secrets so we are going to specify specify the secret named pull secret and yeah this is this is uh this is pretty much it so if i just go ahead let's just make sure that we have a secret created and if we delete the pod let's just wait for a second to get it deleted and then we are going to create a new pod that is going to have this field set and since this field is set we we or the we or the container engine that is running on the node would be able to figure out how to pull this particular image container image from the from the from the private container registry uh, while this pod is being deleted okay and now we should get this particular pod up and running successfully so we can see the pod is uh, being being created and we we don't see any issue related to image pull back off now if i go and have a look into this particular secret we can see that we are we are specifying we are specifying all the details for the key docker config json and the type of the secret is kubernetes.io docker config json so we can see that the pod is up and running now let's just go ahead and try to delete this pod and let me show you an, another way using which we can we can create we can create this particular secret so let's assume you don't have you don't have the details username password for your private container registry but you have a config.json file available on your on your machine so let's assume if we talk about docker config json the the default location for that is docker and in here we should be able to see config.json so let me just go ahead and try to try to just delete this and we don't have any config.json now if i want to let's say generate a config.json for a specified container registry what we can do is we can use docker login and specify username and password once you have specified username and password our, our respective the config.json file would be would be created and if you look into this particular config.json file we can we can actually see the the authentication details against this particular container registry now if i just go ahead and yeah this is 
let's say this is the scenario in your case you don't have the details about you don't have username password of the private container registry but you do have a config.json available so in that case uh, remember that we have to create the secret in this exact same form so what we can do is we can say kubectl create secret and then we can specify the secret sub command to be generic and now this time we want to create the secret from this particular config file so we can specify from file and then we can specify config.json so what happens is when we create a secret using or specifying a, a file the secret that gets created the key for the data is going to be the file name but we don't want that we want the key to be dot docker config json so what we are going to say say is dot docker config json equals to config dot json and again let me uh, let me explain that once more so when we create a secret specifying specifying a file and we know that secrets are key value pairs so when we specify a file the key for the data is going to be file name and the value is going to be the content of that content of that file but in our case we want to explicitly say that the key should be dot docker config json so that's why we have specified the key to be dot docker config json and we want this to be created in ps hyphen demo namespace and name of this is going to be full secrets one and if we if we look into the details We can see that we have we have created the secret in in the exact same format we have specified docker config json uh, let's not worry about these things as of now so we have specified docker config json and we are able to create almost the exact same secret uh, accepting the type so if we uh, delete this secret and we create the secret once again specifying the type now so the type that we are going to use is this and if we just dry run and name this secret one dot yaml we should be able to see the exact same thing okay this path is different so We can see that we are able to create the exact same uh, manifest using using the other command as well so yeah these are the two ways using which we can we can create the secret that should be that should be used in your pod manifest to specify the secret or specify the authentication details for for your private container registry let me let me explain or cl clarify one thing uh, we can use any of the way that we discussed about we can either use kubectl create secret and then sub command docker registry or 
we can use the we can use the other way that is kubectl create secret specifying sub command to be generic and then specifying type as well as from file now the other other thing that i wanted to the other thing that i wanted to discuss about is we can also specify image pool secrets in in service accounts so uh, we have not discussed about service accounts yet but service accounts are a way using which we can specify the the access mechanisms for kubernetes resources we are going to maybe look into that in in one of the one of the uh, next videos but yeah that that is why we use service accounts and when we try to create a pod in any specific namespace a particular service account or the default service account gets mounted or gets used on that pod by default so let's just go ahead and try to create a namespace kubectl create ns sa hyphen pull secret and if i try to if i try to run a pod in this particular namespace so if we run this particular pod we will have to specify the namespace as well so sa hyphen ps and if i get the pods from sa hyphen ps namespace we can see that this pod is being created it would not run because we, we have not specified any any image pool secrets now if i edit this pod we would be able to see a service account that is that is already being used in this particular pod even though we have not specified and if we look into all the service accounts from this namespace we can see that a, a, a service account is already be he has already been created and when we try to run a workload on this particular namespace or any namespace this default service account would be used in that pod so there is this another way that can be used to inject image pool secrets into your pods so what you can do is uh, let's say we we create let's just go ahead and try to create a secret that is going to be used as image pool secrets so create secret and we are going to use docker registry subcommand specifying other docker details and we actually want to create create the secret instead of instead of generating the manifest so we have created the secret now if i edit the service account okay so this secret was created in default namespace but, but we don't want that let's create that in sa-ps namespace and if i list if i list all the service accounts now what we are going to do is let's just go ahead and try to try to edit the service account to have the the image pull secret secret that we have just specified so the name is pull secret and if i edit the service account and here we can also specify image pull secrets and again this would be slice and the value is pull secret okay so let me let me quickly explain what what i have done so in in the earlier example what we what we did is we created a secret so let's say this is the secret this secret is going to have all the details about this private container registry and then in in the pod in this particular pod what we did is we said image pull secret image pull secret to name this particular secret and this secret has all the details about this private container registry now there were two ways 
to create the secret one was to one was to use docker hyphen registry subcommand and one was to use uh, generic subcommand so th these are the two ways to create this particular secret but the other thing that we just discussed about is what i'm trying to say is when we let's say let's say this is a namespace and if i try to run a specific pod in this particular namespace a service account would already be would automatically be added to in this particular pod so this is service account and this is pod and what we are doing is we just created the pod but a default service account would would automatically be added to this particular pod this service account would automatically be, be created we are going to look into that if we discuss about service account in in more detail later so now what we are doing is we are or we have created a secret that is going to have details about your private registry and you are going to specify the secret in the in the service account and not in the pod so the benefit is because this service account will be added to any pod automatically if i create another pod if i try to create another pod here this service account is going to be added to this particular pod as well and because of that this this secret that we have specified in the service account will automatically be used in in these pods again let's let's just say we want to run another pod in this in the same name space if i create the pod this service account will automatically be added to this pod and because this service account has image pool secrets that image pool secret will will automatically be used in 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 the pod so now let's just go ahead and try to uh, look into that so we have we have edited the service account to have the secret that we just created now if i get all the pods from this namespace we would be able to see a pod but the status is image pool back off and the reason is we we, we have not specified a uh, image pool secret now let's delete this pod and what we are going let me just show you the service account once again and we have just specified the image pool secret here we can see pool secret and the secret pool secret has everything about about our private container registry so now if i get all the pods from sc-ps namespace this pod is being terminated and if i if i create a new pod in this specified namespace that pod should already have the image pool secret even if we don't specify even if we don't specify that so cube cutter let's say cube cutter run library hyphen hyphen image is going to be Okay, so we are just going to create the pod and because we know that as soon as the pod is created the default service account would be used in this pod and since the default service account has image pool secret that image pool secret would automatically be used on this particular pod. So if we get all, all the pods from sa-ps namespace again we, we, we are able to see that the pod is in running state because the pod that we have created has image pull secret and this image pull secret was automatically used here because we have specified image pull secret in this service account default service account so yeah this is this is uh, pretty much it what i what i wanted to discuss about uh, image pool secrets and how you can how can run your application if if container image is pushed into private container registry uh, yeah if, if you like the videos 
or at this particular video you should consider sharing it with your colleagues classmates and yeah don't forget to subscribe uh, thank you so much i'll see you in the next one